In recent years, beet juice has become popular as an ergogenic aid. In other words, ergogenic means to increase work performance. And some, many, many studies have shown that consuming beetroot juice might actually increase your exercise endurance and your ability to uh, intake oxygen and also increase workout intensity. Uh, so let's talk about some of the features and some of the health benefits of beetroot juice. But first, before I do that, I want to explain how beetroot juice works. Beetroot, or beets itself, is a, um, is a very good natural source of chemicals called nitrates. <clears throat> nitrates are, are, again, occur naturally in, in beets and other vegetables and some fruits. Now, when you ingest uh, beet, beetroot juice, uh, there's a bacteria in your mouth that contain an enzyme that begins the conversion of nitrates into nitrites. For this reason, you shouldn't use any kind of antiseptic mouthwash in proximity to drinking beetroot juice because some of the antiseptic uh, uh, mouthwashes can actually kill off the bacteria that are needed to initiate the conversion of nitrate and beetroot juice into nitrites. Now, once that first conversion occurs, you swallow the juice, and in your gut, another set of enzymes continues the conversion of nitrates into nitrites, and uh, these enzymes actually convert the nitrites into nitric oxide. Uh, a lot of you, I'm sure, are familiar with nitric oxide. Basically, what it is, it's a kind of a, a ephemeral gas. It has many, many properties. I've discussed some of the effects of other nutrients and supplements on nitric oxide in some of my past videos. I'm not going to go into detail here, except to say that nitric oxide, in relation to exercise, it dilates blood vessels, and because of that, it increases oxygen delivery to muscles, which increases exercise endurance and ability to exercise at a higher intensity for longer times. So that's how beetroot juice works. Now, what are some of the health benefits? Because nitric oxide dilates blood vessels, it can lower blood pressure. Uh, research has found that people who drank 8 ounces of beetroot juice daily lowered both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Nitrates, which are the compounds found in root, uh, beetroot juice that convert nitric oxide in the blood, help to widen and relax uh, blood vessels. And that, of course, uh, uh, causes the, uh, the lower uh, blood pressure. It lowers your blood pressure when you drink uh, beetroot juice. According to a small 2012 study, drinking beetroot juice increases plasma nitrate levels and boosts physical performance. During the study, trained cyclists who drank two cups of beetroot juice daily improved their 10-kilometer time trial by approximately 12 seconds while also reducing their maximum oxygen output. In other words, again, this is due to the nitric oxide boosting effect of beetroot juice. A 2017 study of 26 people ages 65 and over found that combining beetroot juice with exercise led to more beneficial brain changes than, than the exercise alone. Now, uh, exercise, I should tell you, has been shown in many, many studies to be really good for maintaining brain health because exercise stimulates a compound in the brain or a protein called brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which actually is almost like fertilizer in the brain. It causes the brain, uh, the, uh, the uh, nerve connections to increase. It helps to maintain health and can maintain, I mean, I'm sorry, it can repair damaged areas of the brain. When you take beetroot juice, the extra nitric oxide that it, it, it supplies compounds this beneficial effect of exercise on the brain. Uh, in this particular study of older people, uh, uh, when, they, when they drank beetroot juice with exercise, it led to more beneficial brain, brain changes than, the, than did the exercise alone. And the brains in the older adults started to resemble that of younger adults as far as bl brain blood circulation. And a, a, uh, maintaining blood circulation in the brain is extremely important to preventing degenerative brain diseases such as Alzheimer's. However, a 2018 study reported in the International Journal of Exercise Science found that ingesting beetroot juice worked well under high-intensity exercise conditions to increase maximal oxygen consumption but did not offer any ergogenic benefits at lower rates of exercise intensity. In other words, a beetroot ju juice to actually uh, act, act as an ergogenic aid or increase workout performance or sports performance, it has to be at a high t intensity. This is similar to beta alanine, which is another supplement. Beta alanine doesn't work like nitric oxide, but it also can increase uh, exercise endurance 
but it also only works under high ex high intensity exercise conditions. So it's one of those people that are just going to the gym and doing this kind of stuff with no intensity, or you know, talking on your cell phone for 20 minutes. Beetroot juice, bed alanine, and a, most of the other supplements will do absolutely nothing for you. Don't waste your money on it. It only works when people are serious about training and using a high level of exercise intensity. In another study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, seven men consumed five milliliters of, be, uh, millimeters, milliliters of beetroot juice a day for six consecutive days. Compared to a placebo, consuming the beetroot juice led to the ability to tolerate high-intensity exercise for a great amount of time. In other words, drinking beetroot juice or consuming it before a workout will allow you to train harder for a longer amount of time. And this, of course, equals greater muscular hypertrophy or muscle size gains. In that sense, you could say beetroot juice is uh, indirectly anabolic. A, two th a 2017 review of the effects of beetroot juice in the journal Nutrients found uh, the, the, uh, the conclusion that the uh, study authors wrote was it, it led us to hypothesize that supplementing with beetroot juice could mitigate the ergolytic, that's reduced energy, er ergolytic effects of hypoxia, that's a lack of oxygen, on cardiorespiratory endurance in athletes. In other words, uh, drinking beetroot juice offsets the lack of oxygen that can, that can occur in high intensity of exercise. Again, this increases exercise intensity. Now, so you might wonder, what, what about combining uh, beetroot juice with another ergogenic aid such as caffeine? Well, they looked at this in a 2018 study, and they found that combining beetroot juice with caffeine does not appear to offer increased ergogenic benefits that are offered by either one of them. In other words, combining together doesn't increase the effect of either one of them alone. Another recent study found that ingesting beetroot juice increased muscle power more in women than it did men. Uh, they don't really know the reason for this, but that's what this one study found. A 2017 study found that ingesting beetroot juice for six days improved high-intensity intermittent exercise in trained young soccer players. This study is uh, significant because, first of all, the subjects were trained athletes. They were not untrained subjects. Many, many exercise studies, they use untrained college students, which has absolutely no relationship to people with training experience. Uh, it just shows it doesn't mean anything. A, a lot of what happens in Beginners does not happen in untrained people, I mean, in trained people, and vice versa. But this study involved trained young soccer players. Uh, they ingested beetroot juice for six days. And the type of, uh, of exercise they're engaged in, high-intensity intermittent exercise, well, that's weight training. Weight training is high-intensity intermittent exercise, except, as I said earlier, if you're one of those people that goes to the gym and, you know, doesn't concentrate on what they're doing, goes like this, you know, partial movements. I see people in Gold's Gym. This is the way they do curls. Watch this. This is their curls. This is their presses. That's not high intensity. That's a complete waste of time. And after they do a set like this, they get on their cell phones for about 20 minutes. People should stay home. They never change. They make no gains. Complete waste of time. But that's a little off, off, uh, off the subject rave I had to throw on there. Some studies show that ingesting beetroot juice provides less benefits for elite athletes. Now, why is that? Why would beet juice work, work for most people, but not for elite and well-conditioned athletes? Why? Because when you when you are involved in high-intensity exercise or sports for a long time, the ability of your body to produce nitric oxide from precursors such as arginine increases. So the the, the uh, hypothesis is that elite 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 athletes are already producing nitric oxide at an optimal rate. So taking beetroot juice, it's kind of like pouring water in a glass that's already full. It's not going to do anything. It works best if you're, you know, if you have, if you're not an elite athlete, it's that simple. Uh, I, I actually have known, however, I should tell you, I've known a couple of elite athletes, including bodybuilders, who've used beetroot juice and have noticed greater muscle pumps and more endurance. So I'm not quite sure if that study is accurate. You know, some of these studies are kind of questionable. The results of a 2015 study suggest further benefits of nitrates and beetroot juice. The study showed that people with heart failure experience a 13% increase in muscle power two hours after drinking beetroot juice. And what this means in simple terms, if you have any kind of cardiovascular problem, such as heart failure, drinking beetroot juice will take some of the strain off your heart. It's a good idea to do it. Uh, According to a 2011 study, nitrates might help increase blood flow to the brain in older people and help slow cognitive decline. 
again, as I said, uh, a mark of uh, uh, one of the uh, hallmarks of brain degeneration is decreased blood circulation in the brain, which decreases oxygen delivery to neurons, which causes the neurons to basically die out. There you have the brain disease. A lot of it has to do with ox uh, out of control oxidation, too. After participants consumed a high nitric uh, uh, diet, which included beetroot juice, their brain magnetic resonant images showed increased blood flow in the frontal lobes. That's the part of the brain that has to do with thinking, cognition, and intelligence, which unfortunately is lacking in a lot of people today, but that's another story. The frontal lobes are associated with cognitive thinking and behavior, like I just said. More studies are needed, but the potential of a high nitric uh, diet to improve, to help prevent or slow dementia is promising. Now, why do, where do beets get their color? Why are they reddish? It has to do with uh, substance in beets called betalines. Beta, beta, beta betalines beta are water-soluble antioxidants. According to a 2014 study, betalines have chemopreventive abilities against some cancer cell lines. In other words, uh, these, these uh, natural antioxidants found in beets can actually help to prevent cancer. They, they, they are free radical scavengers that help find and destroy unstable cells in the body. So uh, another feature of beets, they might help to prevent cancer. That's uh, just initial studies. You know, I wouldn't say that if you take drink beetroot juice, it's going to block all cancer. That's going too far. It might help to prevent it, though, if you do everything else right. You don't smoke. You know, you, you reduce obesity, that type of thing. Beets and beet juice are also a good source of most minerals, including potassium. Beet juice, uh, beetroot juice also contains betaine, also known as trimethylglycine, which helps to prevent fatty liver. And some studies show that betaine is ergogenic in people who, uh, who, who work out with weights. It actually increases muscle strength and power and possibly increases, uh, helps to increase muscle hypertrophy. It's found, betaine found naturally in beet juice. A 2011 rat study showed that beetroot juice increased high density lipoprotein which is a protective form of cholesterol that removes, helps to remove cholesterol from the body. And, and uh, the beet juice root, root juice also lowered total cholesterol and triglycerides in the rodents. As a rodent study needs to be confirmed in humans. If you eat beets or consume beetroot juice, oh, I should warn you, if you, eat, uh, if you do eat beetroot, uh, I'm sorry, if you drink, drink beetroot juice or eat beets, you might notice a little kind of weird side effect. Your urine and stools may show a pink color and that's from the natural pigments found in beets. It's a harmless effect. It's scary when you see it because, you know, what the hell is this coming from? But it's not. It's completely harmless. It's just you're excreting the natural pigments that are found in beets. Nothing to worry about. Now, beetroot juice should be consumed with caution in those with existing blood pressure because it does lower blood pressure because of the nitric oxide effect. Remember, nitric oxide, when it's, uh, when it's secreted in the endothelium or lining of the blood vessels, it immediately dilates the blood vessels. This causes a, a drop in blood pressure. Now, if you already have low blood pressure and you take in beet juice, beetroot juice, you know, there's a chance it might lower your blood pressure too much. What will happen then is you'll pass out. You'll faint. You'll actually fall on the ground because your brain's not getting enough blood because of lower blood pressure. And you can hit your head and get, you know, so if you have low blood pressure, don't drink beet juice. So eat beets. If you're prone to kidney stones, some of the most kidney stones are a combination of calcium and oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is a substance found in many vegetables, including beets. So, you know, if uh, since the most common type of kidney stone is composed of calcium oxalate, if you have a, let's say, a genetic tendency or you know you have a tendency to kidney stones, probably best to avoid beets and beet juice, beet, beetroot juice, because they are high in oxalates. Oxalates can also... Uh, uh, actually uh, prevent the absorption of many minerals. Uh, even though there's a lot of minerals in beets, I, I have to, I'd have to say that I wouldn't like count on beets as a great source of minerals because of its oxalate content, which will tie up a lot of the minerals so you can't even absorb them. If you don't want to consume beets with uh, beetroot juice, let's say you don't like beets, you don't like beetroot juice, a lot of people don't. There's other foods rich in nitrates that you can eat instead and get the same benefit through the same mechanism. These foods include lettuce, carrots, green beans, spinach. Spinach is a really good source, by the way. Parsley, cabbage, radishes, celery, and collard greens. All of those vegetables are high in nitrates. Uh, beetroot, uh, is, beets and beetroots are, is one of the richest, but these, uh, especially spinach, they come close to having the same amount of nitrates as beetroot juice. Uh, now, here's an important point. If you want to try beetroot juice as an ergogenic aid, 
you got to consume a, about a half a cup at least 12 to two, at least two and a half hours before exercise. Why? Because it takes that long. For, remember I told you about this conversion of nitrates to nitrite, then, then to nitric oxide? This actually takes about two and a half hours. In other words, if you drink beetroot juice and go right to the gym, or drink it when you get to the gym and go right on the workout floor, you're not going to get any nitric oxide benefit at all because it takes two and a half hours. So keep that in mind. You want to drink about a half a cup and drinking much more than that, it doesn't really do anything. Half a cup they found is about the optimal amount. Beetroot juice supplements are available. Now, if let's say you don't want to take beetroot juice, but you know they, they, uh, because of the, all these studies that have come out about beet, the benefits of beetroot juice, they, they also have supplements available, beetroot juice powder. Uh, however, there's a recent study that I, I found that it shows that these beetroot uh, supplements or powders, they vary greatly in their nitrate, nitrate content. Some of them hardly contain any, so uh, you might want to, if you consider, and these things are pretty expensive too, by the way. If you want to uh, use one of these, uh, let's say, beetroot powders, I would suggest contacting the manufacturer and asking them, uh, you know, how many, uh, how much nitrate it has in it. Uh, a good dose of uh, nitrate would be about 136 milligrams. So, you know, you want to have about that much, uh, at least to get a really beneficial effect from the beetroot juice. So, you know, I'm going to probably write a lot more about, there's a lot of other aspects of beetroot juice uh, that I couldn't cover in this video because it would make the video too long. And as I said in past videos, research shows that most people have a maximum attention span for videos of 18 to 20 minutes. I'm looking now at the clock. I'm at 17 minutes right now. So uh, I'm going to stop talking about beetroot juice. I hope I've given you enough uh, information to be useful. Uh, if you want further information about supplements, supplements that work, supplements that don't work, uh, hormonal therapy, uh, anti-aging research, fat loss techniques that really work, exercise science, uh, women's health and fitness, ergogenic aids, many, many other topics, Subscribe today to my Applied Metabolics newsletter, www.appliedmetabolics.com. I think, I've looked at other digital publications, I personally think I have the most in-depth and complete uh, digital publication relating to exercise and fitness. One reason for that is while some of the other digital publications uh, cover exercise or nutrition, and I have to admit, pretty comprehensively, they don't cover nearly the range of topics that are covered in my, my uh, Applied Metabolics newsletter. I cover literally dozens of different topics, uh, and I covered it in extreme depth. Each article, by the time you finish reading it, you'll be an expert on that particular topic. I guarantee it. It's all written in plain English. I've been a writer for about 45 years. I have over 9,500 articles published. I know how to write. I know how to communicate. You won't have to take out a medical dictionary to read my newsletter, unlike some other digital publications, which are written in medical journal style, really hard to wade through, very boring, and they, they, don't, they, they throw all these technical terms at you. <clears throat> I can't even get through them myself. I can't imagine how somebody uh, with, with not that much interest in science could possibly read this stuff. I don't know who reads this stuff, to tell you the truth, but my, my uh, Applied Metabolics newsletter is readable and completely understandable by anyone with it with a sixth grade education. So I write magazine style, which is very readable. So again, www.appliedmetabolics.com. Uh, when you subscribe, I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page. It's only for subscribers. Also for subscribers, I have an email portal on my Applied Metabolics website. You could send me short questions related to any of the articles in Applied Metabolics or you could send me short questions about other topics or questions that you're curious about. Make them short, though. I can't send you like, you know, five page answers. I don't have time. Uh, if you want extended answers, that would require a personal consult with me. Um, you know, the questions have to be short and my answers have to be short. I don't have time for more than that. Uh, there's, of course, you can leave comments under these videos. Uh, I can't promise that I'll answer all of it. It all depends on my time and my mood. Uh, most of the time I don't have the time to answer a lot of the questions that are left under the videos. You're welcome to leave suggestions for future videos. I will consider them. Uh, and, uh, 
And if you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, go to your local shelter and adopt a dog. Uh, they're, the, they're the best. So I'm now at 20 minutes, and I'm going to stop this video. I've reached the maximum. Um, and maybe I'll go have some beet juice, get, increase the oxygen in my brain. <laughs> anyway, take care. Thanks for listening.